A man is running through the cornfield before the other man catches him and pushes him to the ground, transpiring a struggle between the two. Let's figure out what led the two gorgeous boys to this ugly conclusion. Tom is driving to his late boyfriend's rural town to attend the funeral. He reaches the Longchamp farmhouse, but no one answers his calls. He then sits on a bench outside and a key falls out. He gets into the house and tries to look for the signal to no avail. A while later, a woman finds Tom asleep on the table. She asks what he's doing in her house. He apologizes and says that he's Tom and expresses his condolences for her loss. She realizes he is the friend of her late son, Guillaume, who recently died. She introduces herself as Agath and asks him to stay a little longer and say something at the funeral. Tom says that he has written a eulogy for Guillaume and the woman assigns him Guillaume's old bedroom for his stay. At dinner, she talks about her other son, Francis, and Tom is surprised to know that Guillaume has a brother. She informs him that Francis has taken care of the farm since her husband has passed away. They talk, and it is revealed that Agath is unaware that her son was LGBT and thinks that he is dating some girl in the city and is disappointed that she didn't visit. While Tom is sleeping, Francis walks in and menacingly warns him to stay quiet about his brother's reality and to deliver a good eulogy and then leave the town right after the funeral. At the church, Tom gets cold feet and doesn't deliver the speech, but they play Guillaume's favorite song, making Agath emotional. Tom has flashbacks of singing the song together with Guillaume. He later goes to the bathroom and gets attacked by Francis again. He shoves Tom back into the toilet seat and asks him why he didn't deliver the eulogy. Tom is not able to say anything and Francis just slaps him while enjoying the mistreating. Francis says that Tom will have to make it up to him for not following his orders. He says that Tom will talk about Sarah to his mother who is a made-up girlfriend that Guillaume has. Tom gets frustrated and drives off to escape away from the house. He frustratingly curses Francis and then realizes that he has left his luggage at the house, so he drives back. At the house, Agath curses the imaginary Sarah for not visiting. Francis says that Tom talked to her in the car, and Agath tells Francis to shut up and ask Tom what Sarah said. Tom quotes his eulogy as Sarah's words and says that Sarah wished she could meet Agath, but for Guillaume, love was between two people, no family, friends, or other intruders. Guillaume was her first love, and she would do anything to set things right. Agath says Sarah should have come to say all those things to her. She instructs Francis to give Tom some of his brother's clothes and teach him how to milk a cow. Francis and Tom talk about the made-up Sarah. But Francis shows Tom a picture of Guillaume kissing a girl named Sarah from his office, which he showed Agath. Tom gets frustrated and says that he is going to tell Agath everything and then leave. In the next scene, we see Tom running in a cornfield, but Francis catches up to him and they start fighting. Francis says that Tom has to play according to his rules and Tom agrees. They visit the hospital and the doctor assigns Tom some medicines. At dinner, Agath notices Tom's wounds and asks what happened. Francis keeps making excuses and she slaps him hard across the face. She then asks Tom more about Sarah. Tom says that Sarah loved Guillaume's strong arms when he held her and his sweaty armpits on her shoulder and continues to talk about more intimate things. Francis says that Sarah must be a sicko and Agath starts laughing at his words. Later that night, Francis says that his mother hasn't laughed like that in a long time and urges Tom not to leave. The next morning, they deliver a calf and then Francis sniffs some powder and insists Tom try it as well, not taking no for an answer and Tom obliges. Francis tells Tom about the time when his brother made him take dance lessons so that he would mingle with people. He bought a dress for a girl but never gave it to her. When Tom asks why, he takes him to an empty room and they start to dance. Francis confesses that he is bored out of his mind on this farm and admits that he is stuck there because of his mom. He wants to send her to a facility one day and leave. He often wishes she would die and imagines finding her in the kitchen with her eyes rolled back. He says that it would be sad, but he'd be free. He stops mid-sentence after noticing a gaff at the door. She says that she has made apple pie. 
Francis asks if she heard everything, and Agath replies she heard every single word and asks them to eat before the pie goes cold. After she leaves, Francis says that it's Tom's fault, and in the next scene, Tom is icing his injured eye. Tom packs up to leave, but finds his car messed up in the garage. Enraged, he goes to confront Francis, who casually tells him to get dressed as they are going for a ride. Tom asks what they are doing, and Francis says that they are getting drunk and goes to get some beer. Later, they get drunk at some abandoned place, and Francis starts leaning closer to Tom. Tom pushes him away, and Francis asks if he's wearing a cologne as he smells really bad. He then begins to choke Tom, and Tom tells him to choke harder. Now I see where this is going. Tom remarks that Francis smells like his brother and has the same voice. Francis lets go of him and says that he'll be waiting in his truck. At night, Tom couldn't sleep and then goes to clean the fridge. He creepily mumbles something and stares at the distance before going to clean the barn. He finds the body of the calf and takes her in his arms while crying. He then calls someone and asks them to come. Then Sarah arrives at the place in a cab. The next morning, Agath is delighted to see Sarah and Francis walks in, pissed to see her. Agath goes to get Tom while Francis talks to Sarah. He pulls her hair and threatens her to not make his mother unhappy before getting a slap from her. Boy, there's sure a lot of slapping going on in this movie. She pulls away from him and Francis insults her. He asks her why she is here and she tells him that Tom called her and said that her presence would make his mother really happy. Agath brings Tom and he delightedly hugs Sarah, thanking her for coming. Sarah insists that she is leaving soon, but Francis insists she should stay the night and leave the next morning. She asks Tom to join her for a smoke, where Tom talks about the farm, while Sarah asks him to get his things and they would leave in his car. Tom says no, surprising Sarah, who asks if he doesn't want to go home. She tells him that Francis assaulted her and she understands why he called her. Tom apologizes for Francis's behavior and says that he can't change him. She remarks that he is covered in bruises and his neck is all black. Tom insists on staying as Francis will have a hard time looking after 48 cows. He worries that Francis will institutionalize his mom and end up all alone. He plans to buy a laser-guided milking machine to help him and says that they are like his family. Sarah reminds him that they were strangers three weeks ago. Tom says that this place has real life, but Sarah reminds him how they all lied to Agath and that they are far from real. She then confesses that Guillaume had affairs with several people, including her. She again asks him to take his things and leave, but Tom tells her that the car is gone. Francis then calls them back, and Sarah insists that she wants to catch the bus. Francis instructs her to go to see Guillaume's grave with his mother and then leave on the bus. But Sarah insists that she will decide for herself and is not scared of him. Tom then threatens her, saying they will take her to the cornfield, which is razor sharp. Next, they drink while Agath takes out a box with Guillaume's belongings and reminisces about the good times with her son. She tells Sarah to take the box with her, but Sarah doesn't say anything. She asks why Sarah doesn't look sad, why Tom didn't speak at the church, and why her son left home at 16 and stopped visiting or writing back. She angrily says, no one dies at 25. Sarah is about to confess when Francis interrupts her saying that he will drop her at the station. In the car, Sarah and Francis get drunk while Tom just stares at them from the back seat. Francis gives her the dress from before and asks Tom to go for a walk. Enraged, Tom goes to a bar and strikes up a conversation with a bartender who asks him about his business in the town. Tom says that his boyfriend died and he came for the funeral at the Longchamp farm. The man says that he hopes Tom is alone as Francis is banned from the bar. Upon Tom's insistence, he tells him that nine years ago, Francis and his 16-year-old brother were at the bar dancing around. Then Guillaume started dancing with another guy and Francis came for the drink. The guy approached Francis, saying that he wanted to tell him something about Guillaume, but Francis instantly jumped on him and tore his jaw apart. Francis's homophobia disturbs Tom, and he asks, what happened to this kid? 
He informs him that he lives several towns away, and his scars still tell the story of that night. Tom then watches Sarah leave. The next morning, Tom wakes up to the box with Guillaume's belongings at the foot of his bed. He looks for a gaff all over the farm to no avail. He then frantically packs his luggage and rushes out of the house, taking a shovel with him. The wheel on his luggage breaks, and he takes out Guillaume's things and throws the luggage away before hitting the road. The night falls, and he notices Francis's truck, prompting him to run toward the wood. Francis follows him, begging him to stop. He promises that he wouldn't hurt him, saying that he wants to be a better person. Tom hides behind a tree when Francis's pleading turns into his anger and he starts threatening him. Then the sound of the engine is heard and Francis runs to the road to find that Tom has taken his truck. Tom stops at a gas station and looks around for the cashier. He notices the guy with the stitches scar across his face and gets uncomfortable. Then the cashier approaches him and the film ends as he pays and the cashier bids him goodbye. What are your thoughts on this movie? Any thoughts on who the good guy might be? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to watch more on Movie Shortens, click on our next videos then playlist on the screen. As always, thanks for watching.